Well, just twice in the last 10 years as Murray State swept the season series from Austin P. The last time, 2006. Also the last year, Murray State went to the NCAA tournament. Tonight, a chance to sweep the Cubs once again. A big night at the RSEC. The number five, Marcus Brown, retired at halftime. Two-time OBC Player of the Year, one of the five inductees into the Murray Hall of Fame this weekend, and he saw a doozy between the Govs and Racers. First half, how about Austin P? An 19-2 run to go up by 11 early, but the Racers would respawn with the Fulton County native. Jeffrey McLean, the bucket there, plus one. Then it's Isaiah Cannon, plus one. Murray's got this thing down to just three at the half. Second half, how about the senior, Denaro Thomas? His money, Denaro. The three in the corner. How about another one? 23 for the senior, and they needed all of them. We go to the final seconds. Tied at 63. Four seconds left. Isaac Miles for the win. You betcha. Murray State in a thriller takes down the governor. 65 63. Isaac Miles, your hero. Edward Egross caught up with them after the game. Greg, 13 0 in the conference. Thank you, Edward. Tennessee Martin, they're the complete opposite. Now 0-13 in the conference. They lose again tonight, up 9 at the half, lose by 6 to Tennessee State. SEMO also goes down tonight. They lose 75-49. Other OVC scores, Eastern Kentucky wins a one-point game over Jack State, and Moorhead, they take care of Tennessee Tech 84-75. So here are your standings. Murray still out in front by two games over Moorhead. SEMO holding on to that eight spot. Murray Again, just five games away from a perfect 18-0 OVC season. Now to the Missouri Valley, where Southern Illinois has been snake bitten to say the least. Their last five losses in the Valley have come by a combined 13 points. Today, another down to the wire finish at number 24, Northern Iowa. A defensive slugfest in the first between the Salukis and the Panthers. Final seconds, how about Carlton Fay from the corner to the three. We're tied at, get this, 18 at the half. Second half, still tied, eight minutes to go. Tony Freeman. The big triple, SIU up three. They would extend that lead to seven. How about Justin Bocott? The steal and the flush on the other end. SIU up seven, which is six minutes to go. Could they pull the upset on the road? Fast forward, under a minute to go. Here comes you and I. How about Adam Cook? Little scoop shot in the lane goes. We're tied at 49. SIU, though, unable to execute down the stretch. Kevin Dillard on an inbound tie game. Minute to go, he just throws it away. Led to a couple free throws. Panthers now up two. Final minute, they go back to Dillard, wide open for three. No. And again, a heartbreaker for the Salukis. They lose on the road, 55-52. Other Valley scores, Bradley a big winner by 20 at Evansville, Missouri State. 18-point winners tonight over Creighton. Indiana State gives Wichita a run, but they go down by six against the Shockers. And Illinois State, a winner by one tonight over Drake. Your Valley standings look like this. It's a log jam, SIU in ninth, but only two games out of that three-way tie for third place. How about Western Kentucky tonight? Trying to get back in the win column against Troy. Big night for Caden Dickerson at 15, but none bigger than this four-point play. The three and the foul helped Western pull away in the second half. The Toppers beat Troy 87 to 69. The last time UK played on the road, they lost to South Carolina. Cats on the road again this afternoon, but there was no letdown at LSU. UK rolling in this one. They were down 8-5, but after that, it was all big blue. On the break, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, hoop and the foul. The big fella, another double-double. Six in a row now for him, 17-12. and 12. That was the start of a 37-4 run for the Cats. Wall behind the back, the layup, 42-14 at the half. The Cats cruise 81 to 55. Tennessee at home today with South Carolina. Big day for the senior Wayne Chisholm. Left open in the corner here. He knocks down the triple, had a career high 30 points as Tennessee takes care of the Gamecocks. 79-53, a couple other scores. Louisville winner today at home over Rutgers. Missouri goes on the road to beat Colorado. And Illinois, a huge win tonight in Champaign. They upset number five Michigan State. 78-73. Busy day in hoops, busy day on the track. NASCAR unofficially getting started tonight with the Bud Shootout plus Danica Patrick. Her first stock car race. We got Holly Sabot coming up after the break. Well, let's go racing. Bud Shootout tonight, the unofficial start to the 2010 NASCAR season. Final two laps. Kevin Harvick getting a push from Casey Kane to get by Greg Biffle for the lead. And then Mr. Biffle, things go from bad to worse, gets spun out. Caution comes out, so that means that the race is over. So Kevin Harvick, your winner. Not bad for a guy who wasn't expected to really even race tonight because he was sick. Kevin Harvick wins tonight's Bud Shootout. Also tonight, or before tonight's Bud Shootout, pole qualifying for the Daytona 500 this afternoon for the first time in his career. 51-year-old Mark Martin taking the pole for the Great American Race. Hendrick Motorsports teammate Dale Earnhardt Jr. qualifies second. The rest of the field will be set at Thursday's dual 150s. Also today, the stock car debut of Danica Patrick racing 
In today's ARCA race, spent much of the race in the top 10, ran into some problems here, lap 54, gets spun out, but does a good job of keeping the car out of the wall. She would drop to 17th, but did a good job of rallying late. She gets into the top 10 and finishes sixth. Not a bad debut for Danica. She's still not entirely sure whether she'll race the nationwide race next weekend. We'll have to wait and see. All right, Greg, thank you. We'll be right back.